Hey beauties, I thought I would do a three looks, one palette makeup transformation today using my Anastasia Riviera palette. So I had so much fun creating three different looks using this one amazing palette. So if you'd like to see all three of my looks, then just keep watching. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I will really appreciate it. And definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So just keep watching to see all three of my looks using the... <laughs> Anastasia Riviera palette. So first I'm starting with a state on a super fluffy brush. I'm just working that back and forth over my upper crease area and flicking outwards at the outer portion of my eye. And now I'm taking coastline on a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just working that a bit lower the same exact movements just back and forth massaging it over my eyeball into that crease and then also smudging it under my eyes with the same fluffy brush and then bringing it out a bit so now I'm taking that gorgeous mustard yellow shade cabana and I'm just blending out our upper crease area and now I took yacht on a synthetic brush and I'm just packing that right all over the front portion of my eye and then I'm going to take palm on another fluffy brush a small fluffy brush and just kind of wiggle that back and forth over the outer portion of my eye right there to make some depth and just tapping it on also and tapping and blending and then making circular motions just to get a nice blend And then I'm going back in with coastline and just blending the edge from your inner portion of your eye to the outer portion of your eye and then packing on some more palm to bring back the depth. And now I'm taking some Kush Milk Fiber Mascara and just put that on. And now here's some Cork Lip Liner from MAC. And then I'm filling in my lips with L'Oreal Tongue Tied and then my Beauty Mist to finish. So this is just a nice natural daytime kind of look. I also smudged palm on the outer portion of my eye a little bit under the lower lashes. So now to deepen up our look, look and take it from day to night, I'm packing on some palm again, that chocolatey shade with a fluffy brush. You just want to pack that all over your lid. So if you want to start from scratch, you could just skip putting Yacht on your eye and just go right in with palm. And I just love to use a fluffy brush and just build up that shade, just tapping it on and then blending out the crease area, and blending it right into coastline. And now I'm taking some liner, this is the Lancome Coal Liner, I absolutely love this liner and I just use that on my upper and lower waterline. And now I'm taking a little bit of gel liner and just packing that on my lower waterline and also using it to line my upper lashes and make kind of like a cat eye liquid liner. This is the L'Oreal gel liner. So I'm just packing it on. And then I just put on a little bit of this Morphe lipstick just to bump up the intensity of the lip for it's kind of a sultry nighttime look. So finally I thought we would do an uber glam and show how you can do the same exact thing now and just add some concealer to carve out your crease and we'll do a cut crease and really glam it up. So now I've taken the shade Inheritance and I'm just packing that right on top of the concealer and it is just absolutely stunning. Just keep dipping in and taking your time and just building it up but it's so gorgeous. And then I took some Yacht to blend out that inheritance so we get a nice ombre effect. Just tapping it on. These are all even dry. These are not even wet. And they're so shimmery and gorgeous. And then we'll bring back our palm shade, that chocolatey shade, and just tap it on with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend that out. And also I took some Cabana now on a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to blend out our crease and our transition area. So 
So I'm just packing on Yacht now on the other eye in the center portion of my eye. Bringing back Palm. And then I'm using my finger just to pack some more Inheritance on top. So that's just so gorgeous. And now I'm taking some more Estate and smudging that under my lower waterline. And then I'm going to pump it up and amp up the glam with some House of Lashes. And then I'm going back over my liquid liner again, bringing that right back. And now I'm going to take Jeffree Star in Designer Blood, and it's just such a gorgeous red. And then I'm using my Mally Perfecting Stick just to clean up the edges. But this is our third and finished look, but I'm just going to amp up my face a bit, and I'm going to go in with this bronzer from Physicians Formula, the Butter Bronzer. Since my eyes are more glam, I'm going to really bring out the glam now in my face. So I'm just going to add this bronzer. It is just absolutely stunning. It's, I've never seen such a gorgeous bronzer in my life and so beautiful. So here's my Beauty Mist. And I also added some So Hollywood. Here is So Hollywood Loose Glitter Highlighter from Anastasia. And it's just so gorgeous on your body as well. So this is the finished look, I absolutely, this is, you know, my favorite, <laughs> super glam. So beauty, that's my final look for the three looks, one palette makeup transformation that I thought I would do today. So thank you so much for requesting this video. I will be doing a lot more of these videos where I just do two, three totally different looks. I was just so in love with each of these looks today. I didn't want to wipe them off. So surprisingly though, I was able to build and build and build on each shadow. And I totally was not expecting that because so many palettes will become muddy when you just try to mix like three colors together. I don't even know how many colors I just mixed on my eye and they just blended seamlessly, just melted together. Just, oh my God, that's so crazy. It's so much fun. So definitely play with your makeup, play with your colors, experiment. You can lay your colors, throw colors together. You know, so many people will tell you you can't do that, but you definitely can just have fun and create all different looks for yourself. So I had so much fun today doing this three in one makeup transformation. I feel like it was kind of like a day to smoky night to uber glam like after hours <laughs> type of thing where I would actually love to pop some glitter on top of that yellow. Isn't it gorgeous? But um, that, I just wanted to use this palette today though solely. So but definitely you could go ahead and throw some glitter on top. Oh my god, that'd be even more gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for requesting this and I've definitely be doing more. It was so much fun. So and thanks for hanging out with me today. So let me know which is your favorite look down below. Do you prefer look one, two, or three? I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So definitely let me know any other looks that you'd like me to do. So I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing good and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.